solving exponential equations. Um, to solve an exponential equation is an equation with the variable and the power. So there's a basic rule here. It says a to the x equals a to the y. So if you have the same base, the bases are equal, the exponents must also be equal. So that means just x equals y. Okay, so for example, with some numbers in there, 5 to the x equals 5 to the 13th. Okay. Now looking at this, since they're on the same base, then if the bases are the same, the exponents must also be the same. So just x equals 13. Okay. 27 times 2x plus 6 equals 27 to the 18th. Okay, So they're both on a 27. Okay. Since they're both on a 27, the exponents just equal each other. And I can solve it from there. Um, and x equals 6. So this gets a little bit more complex when the numbers are a little harder to see. So an example of a very common question you might see is 2 to the x equals 16. Well, in this case, they're not um, to the same base. So what happens is, unless it's really complex, I can go ahead and hopefully I can rewrite 16 using bases of 2. So for example, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Well, that's going to be 4 times 4, and that's going to be sorry, 16. Okay. So what that means is 16 is the same as 2 to the 4th. So I can rewrite 2 to the 4th as 16, right? because that's what it means when I have, I'm multiplying 4 2's, and x equals 4. Okay. And to look at a real simple one, see if it makes sense. So 2 to the x equals 4. So people could probably reason their way through this one and go, okay, 2 to what power gets me to 4? And that's going to be 2. Well, same thing. I can also rewrite 4, kind of run out of room here, as 2 to the 2, and x equals 2. Okay. So I can have 3 to the x plus 5 equals 27. So same thing, they're not the same base. So hopefully I can rewrite this one with bases of 3. And 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Right. So I get x plus 5 equals 3. Track 5 to both sides. And x equals negative 2.